Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog. Today we are talking about my DIY writer's retreat, why I'm doing it, what I'm doing, and how I made room for it and how I'm planning for it. So if that's of interest to you, grab yourself a cup of tea or a coffee and let's dive in. Okay, so here's what we're doing. Essentially, I'm blocking off two weeks in the summer to just focus on writing. If you don't know, I have two books out already and I also run my own business. So making time to sit down and write is a little tricky. You know, like you kind of have writing season and then you like launch the books and then you have to get back into a groove of writing being part of your everyday life. Now I will say I write every day, but it's not always formatted it's not always to something or maybe i write a podcast or maybe i write a blog i write for work but i don't and i write in my journal but maybe i'm not turning that into anything of substance and i really want time out of my year to dedicate to writing something with a little bit of structure with a lot of intention and so that's what i'm doing one of the reasons why I wanted to do this is because my husband is getting an MFA and he's going to school for six weeks to do just writing. He's going to just write for six full weeks. I'm sure there's some reading in there as well, but he's dedicating time to his writing practice. I wondered, is this something that I want to carve out time for? Because writing is such a big part of my life, it's such a big part of my intended future, and maybe I want to apply to an MFA program. But he's already in the program that he's in, and I was like, well, what I can do is carve out two weeks to just create space for writing. Because for me, that's what the MFA program would mostly be about, would be just saying, this is something I'm taking seriously that I'm prioritizing. So I thought maybe I can prioritize it without having to hustle and apply this year. Maybe this is something I wanna do in the future, but right now, what would it feel like to have just two weeks dedicated to this practice? Something that I have learned through having businesses and just kind of aging over in general is that the things that are important to us will not be prioritized if we don't prioritize them, right? Like everything in life, is there to distract us from the things that really matter family friends personal passions um that there's always something else you could be doing and so choosing to take the time to say no this is something that's really important to me i'm going to make time for it um that feels like a step into alignment with who i want to be and how i want to live so we're going on a two-week DIY writer's retreat, meaning that I'm going to carve out two weeks of my life to just focus on being inspired and turning that into something. If it's just a single essay, if it's a couple of essays, all of that is fine. I just want to make something that I feel like is ready to be, or that just feels complete to me without it being something I'm being paid to do, like out of the realm of like my job, right? Because oftentimes what's happening is I'm marketing a job, my job, or I'm being hired to write a book or write a blog post and someone else is dictating to me what needs to be included and I wanna write something that's just for me and maybe I get that published somewhere, maybe I don't, but I will have written exactly what I wanted to write, exactly the way I wanted to write it. A hopeful outcome for this time will be to set a precedent for myself that this is something that's available to me that I can maybe do a little more frequently, more than just once a year, maybe twice, maybe once a quarter even. You know, that might, that might be ambitious. Twice a year would be nice. Um, and that I leave with work that is submittable and only from my heart, right? Created not to be marketable, not to speak to a specific audience, but just created from what I feel like I want to share. Well, let's talk about how I prepared for this. So if you don't know, I run my own business. So I have a little bit of flexibility in that um, I don't have to take vacation time. I have a little bit less flexibility in that I don't have vacation time, so I have to make it. Um, that being said, I prefer to not have a large team, so I don't really have people who cover a lot of my work when I'm gone. Um, I have someone who manages my email, someone who edits my podcasts, 
but and then I have like a management team for my podcast and management team for my Instagram um, but otherwise like I pretty much do everything else myself that's by choice but it also is a little bit inconvenient when you want to take time off because I need to get ahead so the first thing that I had to do was pick my dates. This was pretty easy for me because we are going to be in Sewanee for six weeks for my husband's MFA. And so it's kind of the perfect place for a writer's retreat. Honestly, my therapist is a writer as well. And she's like, if you can have a writer's retreat in Sewanee, you should do it. It's very calm, it's very beautiful. Um, so that was an easy choice. I knew I was gonna do it within those six weeks. Another choice that made this really easy for me is that I am currently hosting a coaching program with my clients until the end of June, and I'm not launching another round of that until August, and so I'll have July off from coaching one-on-one. -on -one. I also won't be recording any podcasts, like interviews in July, and um, I have a conference that I'm going to in July, so it's between the two weeks of July that I'm in Sewanee before I go to a conference. That was kind of decided for me um, and that was that was basically the path of least resistance the time that had the least that we needed me for so then I had to think about what is the content I need to make during that week what would normally go out because a large part of my job is my content so I put out three podcasts a week one YouTube video a week and five Instagram posts a week slash reels or TikToks. I try to post on TikTok twice a week. So what I did is I wrote all of that out. Um, I put in what needs, to, what am I like needing to be talking about during those times? And then I went ahead and put all of those things in my current calendar. So I, you know, added a YouTube video to a day that I wouldn't normally record a video so that I could have that recorded and edited and scheduled ahead of time. So I'll have all of my content scheduled ahead of time. I've just kind of trickled them out throughout the weeks that I'm going to be working. So I have like a month and a half and I'm just doing, you know, an extra blog post here, an extra podcast here while we prep for time to go. And then I use an app called Metrical for scheduling. And this is amazing because I can schedule way in advance and I can also scheduled during the time my audience is gonna be live. So once the content's created, I'm immediately scheduling it and then it's out of my mind. Um, done, completed, <laughs> click closed. The reality is that yes, I can put a vacation reminder up for two weeks while I'm away. However, um, I have some new projects that are going to be happening around that time. I have a new management team. I don't know what they're gonna have for me at that time and I'm launching a product that will come out around that time so will I be perfectly 100% on a writer's retreat with no work to do at all absolutely not um, that would be lovely but that's not realistic right now but that's something that I do often allow myself space to do if I'm planning further in advance like I took all of January off from work and emails and everything um, I take weeks off usually in the summer of the same way but this year I'm just not set up for that and that's totally okay I would rather have a little bit of work to do a lot of time for writing than no prioritization of writing at all so I'm allowing a lot of space for imperfection allowing it to be not just like this perfect serendipitous retreat energy <laughs> but more so it's a priority. Let's talk about what my retreat plan is. With that in mind, I will need time to work every day, every weekday during the retreat. So what I will likely do is first thing in the morning, get up and start writing, journaling, like just kind of with a with pen and paper, getting my thoughts out on paper, writing a little bit, sitting in silence, um, creating space to receive, <laughs> inspiration and ideas and then probably from around 10 to 12 I will do my work for the day like whatever I need to do if I'm creating content for a brand deal if I'm just responding to emails if I need to talk about the new product that we're launching whatever I need to do I will make time for that during those hours 
And then the rest of the day will be dedicated to formally writing. So I'll probably go to lunch, I'll probably get coffee, and then I'll sit down and I'll write for several hours. And then I would like to do something that's inspiring after that, whether that's taking myself to a nice meal, going to a nearby town and going to a museum, doing something, going through a walk in nature, going to a waterfall, like doing something that kind of pours back in to me as if I'm at camp, right? If I were at a writer's retreat for real, I would, there would be like activities or things that inspired me. And so I want to make time for that as well. I think oftentimes when we think about going on a retreat to create, we think about just the creation process, but I really want to honor the inspiration process that allows for the creation. I also want to be more fluid in my schedule because I tend to be pretty regimented. So even you hear me saying from 10 to 12, I'll be working. But I don't want to focus a lot on work-life balance during this time because I want to follow my natural flow. I want when inspiration is there to be writing and I don't want to put a hindrance on that because I think, oh, I need to put my laptop away at 7 p.m. If I'm feeling inspired and connected to the idea of writing, I'm going to write. So that is how I'm going to do it. That's how I'm going to approach it. I think it would be really fun to make my meals that week feel really special, to make just it making it kind of like a sacred practice as if I really am on retreat. And doing that for myself will be really sweet. Maybe getting like a tray for my breakfast or going out, um, whatever I need to do. Maybe prepping some food so that I don't have to think about it too much. Uh, whatever feels inspiring for me that week but that's my plan um i'm going to yeah i've already marked off the two weeks i've already started prepping content and i think we're gonna be really well set up for a nice little break a nice little respite i hope that i get to vlog at least one day while i'm doing it i'll probably do like a day in my life of my writer's retreat i think that would be really fun so if that's of interest to you let me know in the comments below Otherwise, let me know if you have any questions about how I organized this so that I could really make this a priority. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next week. Bye.